In this video, I'm going to show you some top tier designs for all your armored needs in Millennium Dawn, made with a huge 1.9 update in mind. With the addition of the in-depth mechanics and module options for all sorts of armor, like in vanilla, this video will provide you with simple templates to use or ideas for designing your own. Let's get going. IFVs are better from APCs in that they give more hard attack for fighting heavy units as opposed to soft attack, which is better against infantry. They are a great heavy unit type, which can be made into divisions of their own or simply added to infantry divisions themselves to operate like space marines. The first design is made for soft attack, however. If you want to go that route, it gives a very high breakthrough stat as well as defense, which can be very useful. You can also add armor bonuses as desired, but make sure to keep your reliability at least 90%. The second design is an IFE division you should use most of the time. Its hard attack is very high, as well as better stats across the board. That being said, the design cost is significantly higher than the other one, so keep that in mind when producing it in mass. This should be prioritized for bigger nations. APCs are best at being an armored anti-infantry unit. When added to other designs, they massively increase soft attack while increasing armor as well. The first design is very cheap and made to give speed, soft attack, and armor for low cost. These are easy to mass produce for even smaller countries and are very cost effective. If you want to make a better version, add on more modules, but then keep in mind the cost will rise very quickly. The second design is a balance between hard attack and soft attack. Despite its very high stats, it has a large production cost and should only be used in countries with a production capacity to put it out at proper levels. If you want a solid armor unit to build your divisions with, this is good at everything, and it has a reasonable cost to go along with it. Tank designs offer all-around stats that are better, but its cost is so much higher and its organization so much lower, you may just want to use this as an alternative. SPR Artillery excels at providing your divisions with massive amounts of soft attack, breaking any infantry division it touches. That being said, it gives almost no armor or other kinds of stats unless you really want to increase its cost, but it's kind of a one-trick pony. The design gives you tons of options, but I'm going to focus on two in particular, which are very useful. Pure lighted tank artillery like this does its job to the max, giving ridiculous soft attack for a fairly high cost. These will be slow to produce, but are extremely efficient in your division templates. I recommend these as your go-to for SP artillery unless the cost is truly not bearable. The second option is much more balanced, providing a lot of piercing, hardness, armor, and breakthrough. Even more expensive, this is the type of SP art you will make as countries like the US or China when filling out your best divisions and giving them huge stat bonuses. Moving on to tank designs, the Viagra of the Hoi 4 community. Tanks in Millennium Dawn are not a one-size-fits-all solution to winning wars, which they are much closer to in base Hoi 4. Terrain is a big deal in this game, and especially in the mod, so realize that tank divisions are best when fighting in flat terrain. You have a ton of options and modules to choose from, so don't be afraid to experiment. That being said, these will give you a great starting point. Let's start with a lighter tank design. This is about as cheap as you can get, while giving fairly solid stats. It also has the speed to outpace most other tank designs. This is the tank type you want to make for smaller countries or for faster tank designs generally. The second design is an all-arounder balanced tank that seeks to give you a bit of everything. If you don't want super specialized tank divisions, it's a great choice to give you raw stats. The design provides the armor and defense to hold and the offensive stats to push while not excelling at anything in particular. That being said, it will outcompete most AI designs naturally. The heavy tank is a great choice for stacking hard attack and armor, though the cost is very low speed. This design is also very, very expensive and lacks defense, though with its armor, that's normally fine. If you like raw power and don't care how long it takes to finish the job, this is a fun design. And lastly, we have the super heavy tank. Be warned, this monster is very slow and lacks the armor of the heavy tank. It makes up for it with its offensive power and enough hard attack to take down pretty much anything that you can think of. It's not the most cost effective or best tank out there, but it's a ton of fun to play with and worth building at least once. And finally, we have SP Anti-Air. These templates give you the best anti-air divisions you can get in Millennium Dawn and when added to divisions will massively decrease the effect of enemy air and even allow you to operate while losing the air war. They aren't incredibly expensive, but given their only real stats are AA, does add up. I recommend only making them as major countries or when having plenty of free military factories. The first design is a budget option that also gives a little heart attack and defense. It's a great choice if you don't want to focus on min-maxing your divisions and just want a little extra AA. 
the go-to choice for pretty much any person playing this game, honestly. The second option has better stats across the board and moves much faster, allowing it to operate well with light tanks or even some heli divisions. It's a bit more expensive though, so be warned. It just about covers the main armor templates you'll want to use in the 1.9 update for Millennium Dawn. This is a massive change to the mod and provides so many more features and ways to play. If you want to see more templates for planes, navy, or divisions, or just more tutorials for MD in general, check out my other videos. If not, have fun and I will catch you later.